In this video, I'll be talking about in-market audiences, which is a targeting option in Google, a targeting option you can use for your YouTube ads. I'll be talking about what in-market audiences are, how they work, and how to use them. My name is Kyle Sullerud. I'm the founder of Vid Hoarder, a YouTube ads targeting software that you should really check out if you haven't. My team uses it every day to help set up and run successful YouTube ads campaigns. Let's get into this video, which is about in-market audience targeting. In-market audiences allow you to target people based on what they are actively researching or planning. So essentially, you're targeting people who are in the market to buy particular types of products or services. With any type of audience targeting, we are targeting the people here. We are not targeting content. We're not targeting specific videos. We're targeting the people. So if we're targeting in-market lists, then our ads have the potential to show on any type of content that those people are watching. Google puts you on in-market lists based on your search behavior and your web browsing behavior. And if you believe Google is listening to you when you are not online, then maybe they're putting you on these lists based on your offline behavior too. These in-market lists are created and defined by Google. You can also create custom intent audience lists where you actually build your own list, but I'll be covering that in more detail in a different video. In this video, I'm just going to be talking about the predefined lists that Google gives us to target. These lists are based on recent activity. So for example, if you are targeting a list about dating services, you won't be targeting people who maybe a year ago were researching online dating. Maybe since then they've hooked up and got married and had kids. You're not targeting those people from a year ago. You're just targeting people who have recently been searching for dating services. Now I've heard that Google is looking at the most recent two weeks of your activity, but I honestly couldn't find a source for this. So I don't know if that's a, just a rumor that's been going around that now I am also perpetuating, but honestly, I don't know if there's an exact time frame Google is looking at when they're putting you in an in-market audience. What we do know at least is that these lists are based on recent activity. And what's great about this is the lists are constantly being replenished with new people because there's always going to be a new group of people searching for new products and services. So if you find an in-market list that's working well for you, chances are it's going to keep working well because Google is going to keep adding more and more people to that list and also they'll be removing people who no longer are in the market. Let me show you a couple examples of in-market lists and some more information you can discover about these lists inside the Google Ads interface. If we are in Google Ads, we can pull up the list of in-market audiences. Now, if I hover over one of these audiences, business services, for example, a box will pop up that gives me some more information about this audience. Google's going to tell me more about how the audience is defined. In this case, people interested in business to business products or services. They're also going to show us an estimated number of weekly impressions. Now you can see this is a huge number and a huge range, 10 billion to 1 trillion possible weekly impressions. You're honestly not going to learn too much about an audience by looking at the estimated number of impressions, but you will see some comparisons. Some of these audiences have huge numbers like this. Some of the numbers are a little bit smaller. So that gives you a general idea of the size of the audience. Google is also showing the top related audiences. And this can be very helpful when you're trying to expand your targeting. If you've found an audience that works really well for you, you can see what Google thinks are the top related audiences, and you can consider targeting those audiences as well. And below that, you see top YouTube categories. And what this is, is a short list of topics. So Google's basically telling us that people who are in this audience 
are likely watching videos about these topics. And these are actually topics from the topics list. So if you want to go add these topics to a campaign, you will find them there. These are actual topics inside the interface. So one of those top related audiences was SEO and SEM services. Let's take a look at that audience just to give you a little more context and one more example of how these in-market audiences look. So when I hover over the SEO and SEM services audience, Google defines that for me, saying it's people who influence purchasing decisions for services that provide search engine optimization or marketing. And the estimated weekly impressions here are 500 million to 1 billion. Still a lot, but that tells us that this audience is a lot smaller than the business services audience. And it tells us that it's probably a lot more targeted. It's going to be more relevant, especially if we're trying to target people who are in the market for SEO and SEM services. And then you can see top related audiences and top YouTube categories here as well. Hopefully those examples help you understand in-market targeting a little better. The last thing I wanna talk about in this video is life events targeting. The life events targeting lists can be found right next to the in-market lists. And again, these are lists that are already defined by Google. These are things like recently started a business, recently graduated college, recently renovated home. And this section also includes lists like starting a business soon, graduating soon, and renovating home soon. Because apparently Google can predict the future. Of course, not every purchase is connected to a life event, so these lists may not be useful to you, but they're worth checking out just to see if there is a life event that is somehow related to what you are selling. So to recap, in-market audience lists allow you to target people who are actively in the market for certain types of products and services. Because the lists are based on recent online activity, they are constantly being replenished and can allow you to continually reach new customers who may be interested in your business. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button to let me know, and also subscribe so you can get more videos from me about YouTube ads. And if you wanna see the full list of in-market audiences that you can target without going and digging through the Google Ads interface, then click the link in the description. My team put together a complete guide of all the targeting lists available to you from Google, and I think you'll find it very useful. Thanks for watching. Again, my name is Kyle Sullerud, and I'll see you in the next video.